Okay, now we're going to do the walkthrough of the inside. Before we do that, I wanted to sh quickly show you the, the key system. This bigger Trimark lock key is to, for the deadbolt, which is over here. It's that same pattern right there, and then the smaller one is right there. Be careful. There's been a time or two where this door will fly open on you if it's windy. So just use caution with that, especially with kids. Okay, in here, this light here is just the porch light. And then this light in here, right here, will be the lights for inside. You don't need to worry about that. That's just a battery disconnect. There's two batteries for the coach. They're underneath this step. You don't need to worry about that. This is the awning switch that's been locked up, so you can't use it. Okay, come on in. We'll sit right here and push these slide outs out and I'll show you everything with this control panel here. Okay, so they're labeled, this is the kitchen slide out and then the bunk bed. We'll just push out the kitchen. Um, you use extreme care with these slide outs. You don't want kids to operate them. One thing about the slide outs is uh, if the key is on, if it started or even if the key is on, the slide outs will not work. It won't go in or out. Uh, so if, if, if it's not working on you, that'd be your first clue is to make sure that the car isn't on. It's a safety feature so somebody can't push those out while you're driving. So we'll just go out. They will work off the battery. Although I try to not, I, I try to avoid it if I can because it feels like it's really hard on the battery. But they, 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 they are powered by the battery. As soon as it goes out, you just get off of it. And then we'll push out the bunk bed in the bedroom side out. Water pump. So once you have water in the in the, the fresh water tank, in order to get it out into the sinks and the shower, you have to flip on the pump. If you're connected to the city water, no need to use the pump. The pressure from the city will be just fine to get it to the sinks and the shower. The heater is under the the water heater is under the sink. That's how you turn that on. That light comes on for a minute and then goes out, and you can hear it start usually. It's illegal to drive, I believe it's illegal to drive with the, the water heater on and there's no need to. In fact, when you're camping, uh, I wouldn't have the water heater on if you leave for the day to go hiking, whatever. There's no sense in having, you know, an open flame, you know, in here while you're not here. It's only a six gallon water heater. So if you come back, you just flip it on and it only takes maybe 10 minutes to get hot water. So it's, it's really be wise not to have that on so you, uh, that so you could have w w hot water right when you get back because it doesn't take long to heat it up. The, the start of the generator, if it hadn't been started in a while, you can prime it, um, but it usually starts without priming it. So you can just push start here. Then it beeps and it's on. This is the readout for the hours. And we'll just turn that off so we don't have to deal with the air conditioner noise. LPG, that's propane gas. You push that and it shows you read out where it's full. There's a battery, F fresh tank. I recommend um, with the, when it comes to the fresh water, not filling that up if you can avoid it until you get to where you're going. There's 500 pounds of water. Uh, you really notice the difference when it's full of water, but you'd want some water in it so you can use the, the bathroom or whatever while you're traveling. But if possible, I, I would recommend just waiting to get where you're going before you fill up the fresh tank if you're going to be using the fresh tank. There's the black and then there's the gray. Th those need to be on E. Okay, let's start in the back room here. Okay, so the sh there's sheets. There's a fitted sheet 
There's a mattress protector and fitted sheets for all the beds. And there, it's usually just written on there. Any sheets that you use or towels that you use that need to be washed, when you, upon return, just leave them on the bed. That way I know those ones need to be washed. Um, if, they're, if they're up here folded, I just assume you didn't use those and I, I don't wash those. There's, a, there's even a comfort, comforter for this bed. Here's a vent. All the, there's vents. There's one in the bathroom. There's one here. There's one in the middle. And there's one over the cab. You 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 want to make sure these are closed when you're driving. Uh, they can break if they're up and you're driving. Also, you want to make sure those are shut when you leave. Hiking or whatever for the day. I've been guilty of this where we left them open. And then it rains and then you got a wet bed. Over here is just the wardrobe but this is the tv obviously this isn't meant for a tv there's not a power there's it works just fine there's not a power outlet you got to run an extension cord over an outlet over there on the nightstand but this is this is the tv you can take outside into that compartment there and it just clips into that little arm out there there's there's probably a surplus of remotes I feel, I feel like I lose one, so I order one, and then that shows up. But I've also even Velcroed some of them on, on TVs and things like that, so I don't lose them. Lots of cabinets in here. There is a safe right here. Obviously, you could just take it. You know, somebody could just r walk off with it. But you may be meant for, like, you could put a gun in it. Keep it out of, keep it safe. It's three on this side and one over here. So, someday I'll get that mounted, but for now it's not mounted. This door, um, I can't keep it on the hinges. I wouldn't even worry about trying to use that as a door. Um, I think it currently is off the hinge. This is the carbon monoxide detector there. Here's the thermostat. Just works like a house thermostat. There's fan, cool, and furnace. Um, one thing I've noticed um, that sometimes people call me and ask me about is if they're on furnace, if if it's on auto, um, let's see. You wanna put this fan on auto. That way it only comes on when it needs to. If it's on low or high, if it's especially your cold weather and you're running the furnace, that's kind of annoying that fan above you blowing the air on you. So if you put on auto, it's only gonna come on when it has to. Um, oh, that's how that works. Okay, let's go into the bathroom here. There's a vent in here with a fan. With the toilet, you have to use RV toilet paper. Looks like this. It's, it's either called RV or boats. The reason for that is because it dissolves rapidly. If you use normal toilet paper, you can cause problems. Also, you need to use these tablets. There's instructions on it on this, but it's super easy. You just dissolve, you just take one of the tablets out and you either dissolve in the toilet and then flush it, or you can just flush it right away and let it dissolve in the tank. Um, use one of those every time you empty the tank. So before you use it, you, uh, before you use the toilet, dissolve a tablet in the tank, and then after every time you empty the tank, dissolve another one. This shower here, you want to be mindful of this latch. If this wasn't latch shut and you're driving, if this were to slam shut or open, you could break this glass. Okay, about the shower, there's been one or two people that have told me that when they were, they were using the shower, water came out from underneath it. And I think I've pinpointed what, what caused that. If you have the shower, come on in here. If you have the shower and if you just let this water just hit this back wall, I think this is what's happening. It runs down the wall and gets under there somehow, and then it leaks under there. So just try to avoid not letting it hit that wall, you know, not directly. This is just a cabinet that access to this side as well where we have towels and stuff. 
here's the shades for the windows here. This is the bunk bed. Um, for those who aren't familiar with how this works is you basically pull it off, just lay these on the ground. The dining table works just the same as this. Most RVs are, work this way. That sits down and then these mats come together, these pads come together to make the bed. And then this up here, there's, there's a latch, two latches here. You can just drop it down, it makes a bunk bed. These are meant for kids. I've had these break a couple times and I, it's either kids jumping on it or people that are too big uh, are on this. It does have a weight limit here, 220, but they broke twice. The walls on RVs aren't very thick. And so it's basically just going right into the, the walls there. And so they, they can break if you get too much weight on them or, or if kids are jumping on them. Okay. This TV is hardwired into the, into the unit. The TV up there, uh, I'll show you when we get up there how you can use that TV without having the generator on. So the outlets, this is hardwired in, are all the outlets. Those You're not going to have power unless you're plugged in to power, with shore power, or you have the generator running. Um, and in here is the remotes, this TV. There's also, this is the speakers for the tele TV and the, the DVD player. If you need to reset this, uh, there's a little reset. Where is that at? There's a little reset switch. You get a little paper clip. The touch screen on the dash works the same way. Oh, about the outlets. If you had any of these outlets not working, it's probably because the GFI has been tripped and sometimes it's hard to find. Here's the little reset switch on the GFI, which reminds me about the fuses and the breaker box, which is right here. Breakers, the the the, power, the more stuff that takes more power, just like a house, 15, 30 amp, 20 amp breakers, and then fuses, and they're labeled there. And I, I try to keep fuses on hand. Okay. I broke one of my rules. When you push these out, I forgot to mention, when you push that out, make sure nothing falls behind there. This was actually behind there. A water bottle, whatever, they fall behind there and then you push it out and then it gets caught on it and can pop this, this trim off. Microwave works just like a microwave at the house. Um, this, this, the burner, the cooktop, I, I, taking the top off of it because it rattles it's missing some rubber feet i just need some rubber feet but it wasn't like that but there was rubber feet that at one point i was missing and this is a rattle so i just store it underneath there um the burner works really well you can just kick it on like that now the stove i haven't i've used it just once it wasn't it wasn't great um, but you have to turn on the pilot and light it with a lighter and we got lighters in here But um, I, the one time I used it took the piece it burned the middle the outside was cold So it's not going to win any awards. It'll still do the job. There's some pots and pans in here Up here some more storage. There's a bigger pot. It's like a coffee pot Here's the fridge, okay About the fridge Turn it on like that. I like it on auto. I, it's the easiest way to deal with it, just on auto. There's this button here where you can just make it always on gas. But auto's nice because if you're plugged in or the generator's on, it automatically is going to run off that power. And then once you're, you're not plugged in or you, the generator isn't running, it automatically switches the gas. Sometimes the fridge is neglected. You want to make sure you bring you clean that. You remember to clean that when you bring it back. Empty, clear it all out and clean it. Okay. Be careful when you bring in luggage. This gets hit a lot and then it pops 
that the the finished work off of that. You no, know, there's this is just paper. It's it, they, it's not even real wood. It's it's the lightest wood they can get, and then they just get a paper to make it look like wood. There's some kitchen utensils, there's some oven mitts, um, spatula, scissors, and things of that nature. Some more kitchen items there. As far as eating utensils, you'll have to go to the store and get paper plates and cups and plasticware. Okay. There's three seat belts on this couch here. This also makes a full bed. Just pulls out like that. With the blinds, um, you want to use care with them. Uh, go down. You use both hands and pull them down slowly. They're just on strings that are screwed into the wall there. And sometimes, if you're not if you're not using care, they can pull out of the wall. And then just go back up carefully with both hands. There's four seat belts, two on each side of this. This also makes a bed, just like the bunk bed works. You take this out and it sits it sits on these. Underneath here, both of these sides is. A place for storage there's even a vacuum under there and I've had these beds break too probably from people jumping on them okay. here's a privacy curtain this will be used you just velcro and across here block off the cab the windshield so you have privacy in here this is just a nice little safety net there so kids don't roll out of roll out there's a ladder that ladder just clips in here like that okay let me just show you the tv you know you can tighten this tv a little bit but it's still no matter what you still tie it it's, as you drive it still keeps moving on you so sometimes i will just do this put that i like to drive with that up anyways and then you can keep it from the tv from moving that way Okay, back to the idea of using this TV while you're driving without having to have the generator going. Um, little inverter here. This is just going to plug into the cigarette lighter. There's a little extender. Although this is kind of finicky. These I've, I've, this is my second one. Both of them have been a little finicky. But... At the moment, this one is, this fuse is blown. Um, it's not working, uh, so you do that one. And then, you wouldn't want to have this on for very long without, if the car wasn't started, because um, you'll run out of battery. But you got the blue light, you're in business there. And then what you would do here is uh, you just plug in here. And then you would take this up to here and plug in the TV. Plug in the TV and the jet and the, the DVD player. In fact, let me show you this DVD player. Because we kind of got away from using this one. This one came with the unit. It's not very good. It's not a Blu-ray. Um, all the buttons are kind of pushed in. So this is the, the, the Blu-ray that we the DVD player that we use, and you can also use this for the, the television in the bedroom or outside as well and there's an hdmi cable and you just plug in the tv and the dvd player into this and then that way this tv will work while you're driving without having to have the generator on okay let me show you a few things in here there's a power strip um this is the remote to that tv I think there's another HDMI cable in here, but there's the other, there's the, the, the remote for that DVD player. I was going to show you in here as well. Oh, trouble opening that when you travel, things move around. A couple first aid kits, some other tools in here. Here's the fire extinguisher. It used to be mounted there, but um, it's hard to keep it right there. In here is the the user manuals for the coach. When I talk about the coach, I'm talking about the house part of the RV. 
the chassis is the Ford. The user manual for the Ford would be in the glove compartment. But in here, you'll find all the user manuals for uh, all the appliances and things in the, in the coach. Here's some fuses as well. And I wanted to show you. Um, here's the. the tire gauge. From test tires. And, oh, and also about the tires, um, not the tires, but out there, there was a uh, air cushions that, that I usually like to keep full. It's not necessarily suspension, but if you got this thing weighted heavy on one side, you can put more air on one side to bring it level but when there's air in those those cushions it drives a lot better and I, and I usually like to keep those full for you keep an eye on those for you okay let's move up here okay everybody's familiar with this part of it the miles you know, we log the miles Here's the touch screen. When you're in reverse, like I was saying, it automatically comes on. But if you wanted to be able to drive with it on, so it's always on, you go to menu there, and then you just go next till you see camera, and then, then the camera will just always be on. Back to the menu. There's the radio. Also, you can pair your phone to it. Um, you just pull up your Bluetooth on your phone, and you'll look for that device name, and then the, the, the pin or the password is four zeros. So zero, 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 zero. And that way your, your phone will be paired to that. When you, when you exit, a lot of times the, this, the, the radio or whatever in this light can stay on for a couple minutes. Kind of fooled me the first, first time. I thought I left something on, but... Um, See when you open that still stays on and that light that'll stay on for you know a couple minutes. And uh that pretty much oh let me just show you the air conditioner real quick. Air conditioner is right here. Um if you come in here if you come in here being gone and it's super hot, you can open these so it just dumps all the cold air to cool this down fast, and then you can shut it and then it'll go through the vents. Um, through the ceiling. This is just an antenna, the TV antenna. Depending on where you're at, uh, you can pick up a lot of just uh, television stations just from the antenna. And then this is, of course, the smoke detector there. All right, that uh, concludes our walkthrough.